Dr. Sario Reddy, Consultant General Physician, Medical War Hospitals, Karnul. Today I am here to discuss a few points regarding dengue fever. Dengue fever, which is also known as breakbone fever, it is an arboviral disease which is caused by dengue virus, which is more common in the tropical and the subtropical areas. The spread of this dengue virus occurs through the bite of a mosquito, which is Aedes aegypti, which more commonly bites in the morning hours. Dengue virus have four different types of strains, DENV1, 2, 3 and 4. Uh, and the symptomatology and the severity of the disease depends on the strain which the patient has been affected. And there are certain instances when there is the patient being affected with two or more types of strains. The incubation period for dengue fever is 3 to 14 days and coming to the symptomatology of dengue. So the symptomatology is very variable for dengue fever. It ranges from asymptomatic phase to life threatening complications and in certain instances even death. So the symptomatology is generally divided into three phases. The initial phase of febrile phase which lasts from 3 to 7 days followed by a critical phase which is around 24 to 48 hours. Next the recovery phase which is a, next is the recovery phase. Coming to the febrile phase, it initially presents within the first 4 to 7 days or 3 to 7 days where the patients present to us with very high grade fevers more than one or two temperatures, generalized body pains arthralgias, retroorbital pain and some cases present to us with maculopapular rashes over the body. These rashes are more common uh, when the person is initially first time affected with dengue and if the patient had a previous in history of infections with dengue, the percentage of rash is only 50%. And some patients can present to us with gastrointestinal symptoms like uh, diarrhea, pain abdomen and even respiratory symptoms like cough, cold or anything. The patient here can also present with decreased platelet count and decreased WBC count and even mild of a liver infection. So coming to the critical phase. Critical phase uh, does not exist compulsory in each and every patient. It generally lasts for around 24 to 48 hours. So in this critical phase, the patient had severe thrombocytopenia which can have a bleeding risk like bleeding tendencies which further leads to shock which is called as dengue hemorrhagic shock. And second thing is increased in the vascular permeability where we can find the uh, end organ damages patient can present, present to us with uh, acute kidney injury, liver failure, shock which is called as dengue hemorrhagic shock which is an emergency and a life threatening com complication. Then the third phase recovery phase which lasts for the last five days where the body setbacks its vitals to normal the vascular permeability and the BP, heart rate, temperatures will all normalize. The precautions which we take when we are infected with fever. So primary thing is we have to maintain well hydration of the body and temperature control. In case within a two days if the temperature is not controlled, it's better to consult a doctor, nearby doctor. And the other, there are certain red flag signs or danger signs for dengue fever, which, which indicates bleeding manifestations like dark colored stools, bleeding from the gums, bleeding from the nose or any severity of rash being increased of the body these indicates the platelet counts might have gone little low in such instances uh, get your complete blood profile done and consult a doctor nearby for further management to avoid any complications thank you stay well